It's Woman's History Month. Let's take a look at Lori Hernandez doll from Barbie and Mattel. Lori Hernandez. I did so many Barbie openings for last month for Black History Month. I have a lot of beautiful black Barbies, but I also have some beautiful Barbies of other nations too. And how many am I gonna open up this month? Because it's Women's History Month. I don't know if women need a month. They should have 12 of them, shouldn't they? Or six at least, they're half of the population. I guess every month is Men's History Month, isn't it? Can we do anything to stop that, do you think? Let's see what it says in the box about these things. I got this, that's her quote. I love that quote. Hernandez, Lori, that's what it says about her. I can't read, but you probably can. So read that. Barbie, you can be anything, Barbie. Barbie Signature, that's what this collection is. She's on one of those made to move bodies. Oh, we can take a look at Rosa Parks and compare the body. I don't think, oh, she's on a made to move though. I don't think it's any different from any of the other made to moves though. They kind of should have put her on a WWE body, don't you think? Cause she's sturdy. Oh, but she's just a little thing though too. She's, well, maybe they should have put her on a petite body then, huh? Okay, so I'm opening this box. We're gonna look inside, we're gonna look at her. What I'm most excited about, I didn't know anything about her, but this is probably not the right month to admit that. I don't follow the Olympics though, or whatever it is. I know she's Puerto Rican, I know she's really cute, but I really wanted her accessories. I'm here for her bathing suits, and I wanna see how good they look on my WWE bodies. Yeah, she comes with great clothes, and I found her at a toy warehouse on sale. I don't remember what the price was. She has a certificate of authenticity and she's got a stand. Those are always nice to have. I actually don't open up a lot of pink label, black label, Barbie signatures. Is that what I said this was? Oh yeah, Barbie signature. Because they cost too much money. And I am really kind of about the Playline toys. That is kind of my jam. But there's lots of play value in this because of her awesome accessories. It's exactly the same box as the Rosa Parks box that I opened just recently. And she's fastened in here exactly the same way. Do you want another look at her without the glare? She's cutie. I like her hair. I might have to rebody her on one of the WWE bodies. She's a gymnast. So, you had to give her a made to move body. Rosa Parks was sitting on a bus, so she was a fighter, but I don't think she got as physical as Lori. So they gave her the made to move body. I'll tell you something though, Rosa Parks sat on that bus and she did it. She did it better than anybody has ever sat on a bus before. The woman is awesome. Okay, oh, I just saw a faux zipper like this on one of my Creatable World jackets. That's really cool. I mean, if they can't put a real one in, that is totally the next best thing. I don't know how I'm gonna get that piece of cardboard out that's in there, and maybe I shouldn't because it's keeping the shape, but I'd probably wanna keep the shape with pieces of extra accessory. I'm gonna cut the cardboard. Hope I don't regret that. Hope I'm doing, I'm trying to be careful. Oh, wait, now I, and now the corner reveals itself to me, okay. I probably should have showed it to you in its full glory first. Let me cut off all the fasteners. The logo on this is really cute too. This is Lori. It's all fun, exciting patterns. I don't think this doll looks like the picture on the back. She looks a lot older in this doll. I do like that her hair is up. Definitely gonna consider rebodying her on a WWE body. But here she is. Super cute face, nice smile. I get one with really good eyes, really good hair. I love the hair up. They've got some gel and it's crunchy, but that's a great hairdo and super cute. Yeah, she's really cute. That's a very unique face. I might have to put her on a body that I like more. Very tiny little white sneakers. Simple basic, I like that. 
I'm gonna take those off right away. And then we've got these pink sweatpants, the elastic waist, they look so legit. They like look like the Puma ones. Oh, that's interesting. They gave her one knee protector. I don't know why they didn't put it on both knees, but she is fully made to move. All you made to move fans out there, which I know that there are plenty of you, would be very pleased with that. There's a new Barbie gymnast set that's really cool. She comes with really cool athletic wear. I'm not too excited to get the Puma stuff. I know you guys have been buying it like crazy and happy, happy to get it, but that's it's not really my fashion style. Um, without the logos and stuff, I definitely like more. I'm not a big logo fan. I don't like brands doing stuff like that. Now, if it was Mattel or Fisher Price, I would wear that all over myself. Cute, cute bathing suit. Definitely gotta try this in a WWE. And they gave her two, not just one. And it's so good because they are such 80s designs, which I guess the 80s and 90s are popular. So that's what we're seeing in fashions. These homages, those are the two suits. Here's a comparison between the made to move body and the just articulated body. And here is my WWE body, and she was trying on the Rosa Parks outfit, which is a beautiful outfit, beautiful jacket, beautiful dress. You definitely want to check out that video if you haven't already. And I was so pleased to find out that the dress actually fit on these. And if you haven't seen this doll before, this is a WWE body, a Naomi, Naomi body with a color reveal, darkest complected head sculpt, pink hair, little highlights of purple on there. I love how vintage these heads look and I love how curvy these bodies are. Even though the arms are a bit too big. See, these arms are too thin and these arms are too muscular. Actually, they don't look that muscular. It's the forearms, I guess. It's all in these forearms. Maybe I should sand them down. Forearms are drastically different and the feet are drastically different too and that's the best part because I, I really like how proportionate these feet are and luckily I have so many of these dolls that I have a lot of shoes so I'm lucky that way I know that most people want more shoes for their WWE dolls there are uh, some more Wonder Woman coming out with this body and I assume that the new villain will also have the same body. She's got some great fashions on her too, so those will be great to use and mix and match. But I gotta try on this bathing suit, see how it fits. I assume they're the same cut on both of them. Bathing suits, I have the most problem putting on. I think that their torsos are a little longer. But yeah, this is squeezing on here. Oh, she finally gets a bathing suit on again. How nice for her, because her original outfit is a painted on bathing suit for her color reveal. Okay, well, bathing suits do have some stretch to them. So it is stretchy on her, but it actually covers the molding on her bum, which other bathing suits usually don't do that. It is very tight in the crotch there. That's called something that I probably shouldn't say on YouTube. There's a name for that. Yeah, it's tight, but as you can see, it does squeeze on and she, this is the body that they should have used for Lori because Lori does have a very, very muscular body, but she looks pretty good. Looks good with her hair too. What do you think? What do you think of these? What do you think of all this stuff? Oh, I better try on these sweatpants too. Very athletic looks. I don't know where the front and the back of these sweatpants are. I can't tell which is the front or the back. Oh my goodness, I put both legs onto one. Well, you can see that this material is very stretchy. Have you gone to the Mattel website and voted for your favorite Barbie style accessories and outfit pieces for the upcoming Barbie style doll? You definitely should take a look at that. We get some really intricate, nice pieces that are coming out. Um, there she is in her joggers, really cute. These are nice, these are very versatile. I like them. She likes them. All right, I'm going to swap these two bathing suits at the end of the video. I hope you will give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Let me know which videos you want to see next.
isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? It's It's International Women's Month. Women's History Month. So these made to move dolls, if this is something new to you, which could very well be, they've got joints, rotations here, and they've got this kind of ab crunch kind of thing, torso tilt, and shoulders, and you can see that there's articulation there and there, so swinging and twisting and turning, there's a lot. People really love these because of the awesome poses that you can stick them in, like things that some humans can't even do. But she could do them. Lori could do them. This bathing suit's going to look so good on Color Reveal Barbie. Sisters are doing it for themselves. This one must be more stretchy, or maybe it was because it was already on Lori. But yeah, that, that one was kind of made to match her hair. So that looks good. These have pretty good articulation. They don't have the same. They can't go too crazy. It's definitely the perfect articulation for me. The cuts are in all the right places, and it doesn't take away from the sculpt, and the joints are nice and tight. She looks great in that. Look how this bag kind of clashes and it matches with this. You know what? We've already seen this bathing suit on. Let's see what she looks like in a beautiful dress. This might be my favorite Barbie dress of all time. The one that came with Rosa Parks. The cut is so nice. The material is so nice. The pattern is so vintagey beautiful. Oh yeah. She cleans up nicely. That looks real good. Let's see if the shoes fit on her. My glasses broke, unfortunately. Made to move. Feet are so weird. Actually, those shoes don't look good for her. I guess she's too cute and modern looking. I'm not going to put the gloves on her either. Or the glasses that broke. This could, it could look really nice. The shoes really do matronly up the outfit. But otherwise, super chic and fashionable. She looks like she's out on the streets, New York shopping. On a cold New York day. Shopping, shopping, shopping up a storm. Ooh, I'm going to so many things to buy. 